Welcome back, folks. Um, in case anybody's wondering, this is not Super Mario 64. <laughs> this is Sonic the Hedgehog 2, um, which is probably my favorite Sonic game. I figured it was time for a new game. Just, you know, trying uh, something else here, just to shake it up a bit. Um, I'm really excited about this because I actually just got this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this cord for... You have to apologize, or you have to excuse me. My throat isn't necessarily uh, feeling all that great today, but um, yeah, this uh, cord I bought uh, the other day it allows you to hook a Sega Genesis up to you know a component, uh, okay, like hook up. So I was actually kind of excited to try and see if I can record a uh, Sega game, and surprisingly, it's letting me do it. <laughs> like shockingly. Given how much trouble it's given me with the Super Nintendo, like the capture card, I mean, it's kind of surprising that I'm even able to uh, record like <laughs> something like this. Cause yeah, it's like s same uh, same deal as the um, Super Nintendo. Same, still 16 bits and whatnot. But I don't know. I don't know what's up with this Super Nintendo. Why it's so finicky? But whatever. Hey, we already got through Act One. Ah, I got some coffee. Yep. Um, this game was surprisingly a game that I didn't play until a little later. I grew up with the first Sonic. I had that six-pack game for the Sega, but uh, <clears throat> I didn't really own any too many Sega games. I was too busy with like the Super Nintendo and then later the N64. And uh, while I adored the Sega, and I later played like a bunch of Sega games. Uh, through my old friend Brian, uh, who had like a ton of Sega games, um, I was never like a huge Sega aficionado, unfortunately. But I love it. Is still brings back like a lot of nostalgic memories for me because uh, I remember playing a lot of games at his house and um, finding them to be really fun. Um, it's whoopsie! Oh my god, I suck. <laughs> Okay, Ugh. stupid Robotnik. His name's Robotnik, I'm sorry, people. Like, why they changed it to Eggman? Like, I know, apparently in the Sonic universe now, there was a Robotnik, and I don't know if he's supposed to be, like, Eggman's, you know, ancestor or something, or whatever. But, like, or if, even if he's supposed to be, like, unrelated, but, like, to me, he will always be Dr. Robotnik. He, you know, I, I just can't get on the Eggman thing. It's a just stupid name. And we got through Act 2. Look at us. We're just making waves here in the Sonic world. Ugh, I love the Chemical Plant Zone. Mostly because of the music. This music is, like, so unbelievably legit. Um, and I'm not attempting to get, like, all the bonus stuff and whatever, so... <laughs> just heads up there. I'm sure I missed, like, a million different things. Oh, you dick. Uh, fucking dicks, man. Especially when they're shaped like mechanical crabs, or whatever the hell those things are supposed to be. Now, I think the bonus levels in this game are different, aren't they? Because they're not like... It's not like at the very end of the game, like in the first Sonic game. It's like, a. Uh, um... Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Ah! Uh, you have to go to, like, a checkpoint or something, I think. I hate these things. Yeah. Anyway, um, which I'm not sure how to do, but it's got it's like that 3D, uh, like level, kind of like a precursor to Sonic 3D Blast, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which also I've never really played. Uh, I don't think I have that one on the Sega. Now I have all the set. Like, since like as I was saying before, since um, you know. Well, first of all, this isn't originally my original Sega Genesis, anyway. That was lost a long time ago. I have no idea what happened to that. It got lost in a move or something like that. But I rebought this Sega about a year uh, a year ago, and I managed to acquire quite a like large number of games in a very short time because um, my brother-in-law uh, 
he gave me a bunch of games because he was cleaning out like his old house and he happened to run into like a ton of Sega games, which is cool. One of which was Sonic 3, so I thought that was great. I think I ended up buying Sonic 2. Uh, and then there's a bunch of games that like are pretty much on loan from my friend Matt, who basically said like, hey, just hold on to them for as long as you want. So if they're not, those aren't necessarily mine. I just have access to them. Uh, so it's kind of cool. I, I have some games to play, which is cool. I'd like to get more Sega games, but I don't know uh, really like what other games to get. To get, I've heard Fantasy Star is a really good RPG for the Sega. Um, I've never played it. I'd be interested in playing it, but I'm pretty sure it's an expensive game. So I don't know if that's something I'll be getting very soon. Um, uh, what else? I'd like to get Earthworm Jim, uh, which I hear is better on the Sega than the Super Nintendo. I don't know if that's correct or not. Um, let's see, what else? I have Echo the Dolphin. I love that game. <laughs> I think that game's great. Uh, I'd like to get, uh, uh, what is it? The Mortal, one of the Mortal Kombat that's supposed to be really good in the, uh, for Sega, I think. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be kind of superior to the Super Nintendo version. Why, I don't know. Um, I think there's also a Battletoads, which is, uh, which would be cool to get to. Whoa, ah! Ah, uh, screwed that up. Oh, well, that's alright. I should have enough momentum here. Whoa! What the hell happened there? Boys, one thing Sonic 2 did right was... Alright, you're supposed to do something... Oh, you gotta jump up here. Okay. Okay. Let's get the bonus stuff. Okay, for some reason I thought you had to hit, like, a certain button combination. Get 40 rings! Okay, let's do it! Um, wow, this is a little jarring. <laughs> it's kind of cool, though, for, like, what was this, 92 or something, or 91? Is not enough rings? Oh, I was short by two. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Whatever. Good time, take a sip of coffee. Do do. Um... Yeah, but let's see, what else Sega games? Uh, oh, man. What are some of them I played? Like, oh, my God, the six-pack game. Dan, if you ever watch this, uh, which I'm going to send you the link, uh, and you ever want to, like, guest on here at some point and we play some Streets of Rage, that would, like, tickle my fancy. It would tickle me pink, my friend. Um, oh, no, this shit. Ah. Because that game is hilariously cheesy but also extremely fun. And we had a night one night where we played <laughs> like Streets of Rage for uh, like I think it was like a good hour or two, and uh, we got pretty far in the game. And that's a game that I would love to uh, play with Dan at some point. That game, uh, Star Fox sixty four, and there's this basketball game for N sixty four that I would love to play with Dan. So Dan, if you ever feel like guessing on a channel, I just died. Sorry, Sonic, you're dead, Sonic. Um. Dan, if you ever feel like guesting on this channel, uh, or even if you don't want to guess and you just want to play Streets of Rage with me sometime, let's friggin' do it, man, because that, that game was, like, really fun. I believe there was also a basketball game we played. Oh, yeah, this shit. One good thing about Tails is he... Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, one good thing about Tails uh, is that he, like, gives you an extra hit, which is kind of cool sometimes. Uh... Not doing so well here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Please let me just like beat this so I don't have to start from act one again. No, no, no. Oh my god, that was close. Ugh. That would have been pitiful. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Let's fight ourselves some Robotnik. All right, okay, please, let's just, all right, I'll be calm here. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, folks, from the top. Hey, at least I got, like, a crap load of continues. All right, let's, let's do this again. 
Luckily, I really like this level, so. Um. Ooh. This, I will, oh, uh, back to the Sega, Sega topic here. Uh, so, I mentioned that I played this later. Um, I did play this later. However, this was the first Sonic game I've ever beaten, which is pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, I beat it oh, several years ago now, maybe six or seven years ago. No, it was longer than that. Uh, it was, it was quite a while ago now, but, um, yeah, I beat this, and then, because I replayed through the Sonic games, and then finally, shortly after that, I beat the first one, which is a hard game. Uh, but also a fun game. And then, as far as the other ones, I haven't beaten any of the other Sonic games. Ooh! Do -do -do. No! Ah! I hate that when you have just, like, too little momentum, and you can't get over these, like, little hoops. Stupid, like, B thing. Oop, woo. Sonic games are weird, because, like, a lot of people think, like, oh, you just gotta, like, ru like, run through the level and go as fast as you can, and it's like, that's not the case. Sometimes you really, you can't just fly through the level, or you're gonna miss stuff, you know? Or, like, sometimes, it, it like, it, it can be very, like, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, misleading because the game is so generally fast paced but sometimes if you do rush through the level you it ends up screwing you over so it's like you kind of got to like know when to be fast paced oh my god just get up there Ugh. you kind of got to know when to kind of fly through the level and then you also got to kind of know when to slow down and take a breather and you know Smell the roses and whatnot. <laughs> it's not all one, like, crack, you know, induced uh, frenzy, you know. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. This is what I'm talking about. See, this is maybe where I should be. Oh, fuck. What the hell? How'd this happen? Okay. I'm ashamed of my playing skills right now, or lack thereof, I should say. Okay. Oh shit, I might be in trouble. <laughs> Why? Nope. Ah, I freaking drowned. Alright, stupid chemical plant. I liked this level at one time. <laughs> I'll see. Okay, come on. Sorry, Tails. Goodbye. Alright. I feel like I'm making really stupid mistakes here. Uh, I hate how this stupid shit rises, like, so fast. Come on, Sonic. You gotta go. I love Smooth McGroove's uh, version of this. The guy that does, for anybody who doesn't know, he does like acapella versions of gaming music. And uh, he does this song, and it sounds really cool. So, I mean, this is like one of the best, in my opinion, probably the best track of any Sonic game. See, there's a perfect example where you fly through the level and you get fucked over. And I'm down to one life again. Come on. See, that's not very helpful right there. That's just going to screw me over, that stupid red bumper. So let's just keep going. Sorry, Tails, you're dead. All right. I've got one life, so if I can at least beat Robotnik here. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh my god. I was like scared that I was going to uh not survive that. Okay. 
I feel like nervous about like crossing this now. Oh god, here we go. Ugh. Thank god. <laughs> Alright, I see we're at the 15 mark, so uh, we got through Act 2. I will see you guys on the next episode. Later.